Hey, hey, Uncle Ism on your line one more time. Yeah, what's going on with us, family? Us as a people, man, we're going by the wayside. We got this thing going on. We Men don't like women. Women don't like men. You know, some of these men are so mad at women that as soon as a woman talk, they, ah, ah, ah. you know, hey, brother, things going to happen in life. It makes you a better man when you go through something. I'm telling you, man, listen to me, man. I done been there. A lot of guys get mad at the older guys. Hey, player, you're going to be old longer than you're young. Think about it. So, respect the old. We the only people in my, my, my community that don't respect their elders, man. The other communities, man, they put their elders in the middle of the living room, man. They listen to them, you know. The different races, you know what I'm talking about, man. They listen to the elders. The elders are one with the wisdom and the respect and the knowledge and the guidance. But you young brothers, y'all bring the energy the, the new way of looking at things, the technology, how to move in the earth and where the future is going. Y'all are the future, but don't forget about your elders. You know, a lot of times you don't respect your father until you turn 30. And you look at things and say, wow, Pop, I see what you was trying to tell me. Yeah, man. Fathers, man, be in your children lives, man. If your boy end up, maybe it was something you did that you wasn't around, man. You had him around too many women, man. Sometimes people say they was born that way. But I would feel in my heart, hey, bro, mm -mm. I would feel as that, that part of my life was a failure. And I have some Fs on my report card. Certain things I've done in life, I feel like, man, I wish I could go back and do that better, man. You know? And I feel bad about that, but I moved on. And got enough energy and strength in, within myself first, man. It all starts with you, man. It all starts with you. Your woman is a reflection of you. Your children is a reflection of you. Your animals, everything is a reflection of you. Your dog acting crazy and wild, you don't have control of it. Your woman out here talking crazy, getting into it with people, you don't have control of your woman. You getting emotionally hijacked, ready to do something to people, put yourself at risk to lose your life and lose your family, everything that you work for. You not in control. Everything starts with the man. The man is the sun. That's why you need a sun. Nothing grows without the sun. And the woman's supposed to be the moon, man. Y'all don't listen to love songs, man. I'm your sun, baby. You my moon. Stars at night, man. Yeah, get you somebody you can feel and have and hold. And I know a lot of you, you love somebody, you loved her, you loved her. Mm. Then you got dumped. It's part of the game. It's part of the game. And get that woman you want, man. Quit trying to change these three old foes into housewives, man. These sands ain't been around for nothing, man. You know, a woman that you see right now at your job, you say, oh, man, she a little overweight. Oh, man, she don't look as good as I want. I want this city girl that's already ready. That that four you see at work, man, she can clean up nice. You start taking her to the gym, getting her brain, and then next day you know that's a seven, that's an eight. But that's your dime, brother. That's your dime. You never put a, but there are no dimes because you never put a woman high to yourself. High as a woman can ever be is a 9.1 at best. Only thing a 10 is you, this game, this manhood, the father of civilization. Everything resides within your seed, brother. And I know the women, they get help. They say help the women and children. I understand, brother, but you can't make these women feel your plight in life. You can tell them a little bit, but that's their plight. That's how they think. Men think different. They still ain't going to have no... No, no, no understanding on what you go through as a man. They really don't care. They want what they want. They got spoiled by their father. When you have a daughter, you're going to say, hey, baby, can you clean up that baby girl? Come here. Give, your, give dad a hug. See how my voice went down? Hey, baby. Hey. When you talk to your son, hey, hey, boy. Hey, pick that up right there. Come here. Listen to me. When I tell you to do something, boy, do it. You, you discipline your children different. This is why women, you should have, if you can, have some kind of relationship with your father and bring that man around the father. It used to be we give our daughters, he asked for our daughter hand in marriage. Okay, hey, hey, sir, can I have your daughter's hand in marriage? Man, that meant something, man. Because a father can see some things within this dude that the daughter don't see. Now, we end up taking care of the child, the grandparents, because she messed with some penny ante dude. She didn't get her man by design. I had the video. By design. 
Don't let your life just be out here penny ante, man. Put it together by design. And you're going to get some Fs. But if you can get more C's and B's and maybe A's, man, on your report card, man. Get a woman that's down for you, man. That 10, a dime, a pretty woman that attends to your business. That's the 10, brother. I'm on a woman a 10 because she looked a certain way and she can twerk. How is that a 10? What? The woman that's a 10 is the woman that attends to your business. Your business, Jack. Not another man. She don't have a wandering eye. Yeah, the old school, man. She's a floozy. You understand me? Yeah, strawberry. Yeah, thought. Whatever y'all call it, man. It's the same thing. So you call it old, but it's the same game. And there's only one game, man. Either the boss or the worker. You either the pimp or you the hoe. You in a relationship right now. Which one are you? You the boss or the worker? You the pimp or are you the hoe? A lot of you males, man. Y'all need to get it together, man. I ain't trying to tell you what to do, man. I'm just asking you to open your mind, man, and look at things different. So when you get older and you see the world different, you're like, whoa, I'm moving on a whole nother plane, a higher plane. Yeah, no knowledge yourself, but know what's good for you, not me, not your brother, your sister, your mother, your cousin, your family. I don't care about none of that, man. Make yourself happy. But never forget to make yourself a boss. Yeah, you got a job. Get some other little side money. Weekend hustle, some hauling, some some type of work with a truck. You can do some moving. You can start your moving business. Next thing you know, you got you three trucks and got somebody else doing that. You can sell some on this internet, the World Wide Web. It used to be local. Yeah, from a lemonade stand that you set up in front of your house. Yeah, as a kid, now you can sell lemonade all over the world. Concentrated. Yeah, I sent it to you on dry ice, Jack. Get your mind to it, man. Make a million dollars on lemonade. Somebody did it. Maybe you make a million dollar moving business, hauling business. Next thing, you used to be you and your sons or you and your brother with one truck with a F-150. Now y'all got big box trucks handling y'all business. Put your mind to it. Ain't nothing in life you can't do. Man is the strongest thing on this earth, man. Put your mind to it. I'm rooting for you, brother. You know? Now don't let a woman be your downfall. Picking that wife, man. One of the hardest things you ever gonna do in life. And this just your uncle Ism, man, with a little bit of wisdom, man. I love you, family. Y'all stay solid. Stay in shape. Keep your mind straight. Yeah.